Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. I'll be cooking uh, this afternoon a what they call this igalunggong pinaksi. So I place already the galunggong inside, and uh, I put one half a uh, three fourths cup of vinegar. The ingredients are actually just ginger and garlic. Okay. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, I place a one tablespoon of pesos, uh, smaller than this one. So uh, actually it's uh, simmering now. Okay. So the only missing thing here now is that uh, as soon as uh, this is cooked, uh, we put on top of it. We put on top. The toppings will be, what you call this, uh, an eggplant and an okra that's for the final cutting okay so we'll just cook this one a little bit uh, better yet I will close it while we are cooking okay oh this is uh, a very easy type of cooking uh, the pinaxil okay or just uh, clean the galunggong fish then put a uh, three fourths cup of vinegar pure vinegar okay one tablespoon of fish sauce to taste and uh, the other ingredients are actually garlic and ginger okay oh this is easy to cook this is very easy to cook as you could see it uh, our casserole uh, is very easy to, to be heated up. So actually the galunggong is now being cooked. It won't take long for this uh, galunggong to cook, you know. Okay. It won't take long. Okay. Uh, the fish is almost three-fourths cooked or half-cooked already, so the fish will not be overcooked. Uh, we can put the, uh, well, this uh, eggplant now on top. Uh, this is just simply a topping, you know. You mean to say, we mean to say uh, we will be eating this one. Uh, this eggplant is just a topping, you know. It's just a topping. Then another on top of it is the okra. Okay. Okra. Okay. Uh, we close this one a little bit. It won't take long this one to, to be cooked. Okay. It won't take long. Uh, Paksi is just like a combination of fish in some toppings of uh, eggplant and okra. Okay. The soap of this one is actually food to taste be because we put something like the ginger and uh, what kill this uh, ginger and garlic plus one tablespoon of uh, what you call this uh, fish sauce. That's the fish sauce. Uh, if you don't have any fish sauce, you can use your uh, salt maybe, but uh, fish sauce will be better than the salt because uh, fish sauce is already, the taste is already, what do you call this, uh, makes, makes it good, you know. It was makes already to be very good. Uh, for the salt, uh, you must have to stir while uh, you're placing the salt, but for the fish sauce, no need because it's a liquid thing, you know. Okay. In here, uh, the fish is almost done, including the taste of it. Okay, the only one that's missing here is that uh, the eggplant and the okra should be fully cooked. Uh, the bitter thing about uh, this okra and uh, eggplant, uh, we could uh, cook this one just simply half cooked. 
so we can actually lower down the heat so it will not get burned right okay uh, that's it guys uh, this is how we cook a uh, what do you call this paksiw na galunggong we cook first the galunggong with the uh, three fourths cup of uh, vinegar uh, the ingredients are garlic and ginger uh, we put a table one tablespoon of fish sauce and as soon as the fish is cooked we could put on top the toppings uh, which actually comprises of uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, what's this? Eggplant and okra. So as soon as the eggplant and okra is done, the paksu with the toppings eggplant and okra is done. Okay, uh, good afternoon from Los Angeles. This is Professor David Jeter.